With the release of patch 0.18 and the introduction of six item builds, numerous changes have been made. Today we'll cover the key updates regarding items, so you'll be well prepared when the patch goes live tomorrow. This update brings 15 new Tier 3 items and a new Tier 3 crest, along with some additions of Tier 1 and Tier 2 items. Our focus today will be going through all of the new items, and then we'll also dive into any significant changes to existing Tier 3 items. If you want to learn more about what changed for patch 0.18, make sure you're subscribed and keep an eye out for more videos from me tomorrow, breaking down the gameplay and hero changes, as well as a very early and experimental tier list. Before diving in, let's take a moment to acknowledge the crests and items that have been removed. The list of those items is displayed on screen now. Now, let's rapid fire through our new T1s and 2s real quick, and then we'll jump into the incredible tier 3 items. For our tier 1s, we only have Pendant. Pendant is a 350 gold tier 1 item that will grant you 5 ability haste. Now into the tier 2s, Gilded Pendant costs 1000 gold and grants 20 physical armor with 8 ability haste. Life Ring costs 900 gold, granting 60% base health regen and 15 physical armor. Mystic Cane is a 1050 gold item, which gives you 20 magical power and 75% base mana regen. Nether Shard gives you 35 magical power and 8 ability haste for only 1250 gold. And Vigorous Amulet is a tank item that only costs 1000 gold, which gives you 150 health and 15 physical armor. For our tier 3 items, I'm going to break them down by the different hero archetypes, starting with the carry items. Carries received three brand new items, all focused around critical strike chance in some capacity, starting with Equinox. Equinox costs 3100 gold and gives 20 physical power and 35% attack speed with 20% critical strike chance. Its passives, Nightshade and Adamance, grant you additional damage when you critically strike. In addition, when you go below 40% of your health, you'll gain a decent shield for a few seconds. The size of the shield increases with levels. I expect Equinox to be a strong item when facing off against any burst heroes, like Assassins. Nuclear Rounds gives 40 physical power, 25% attack speed, 250 mana, and 20% critical strike chance. It also costs 3200 gold. Its passive, Havoc, will give you increased ability damage based on your critical strike chance, which means it'll be brilliant on heroes like Twin Blast who have a good mix of damage. Plasma Blade is the last new carry item and costs 3000 gold. For that, you'll get 25 physical power, 40 magical power, and 35% attack speed. Its passive is Vibro Cutter. Upon basic attacking, you'll gain 8% critical strike chance for a few seconds, stacking up to 5 times. Plasma Blade will be great on heroes who can benefit from both physical and magical power, as well as some scaling crit chance. Now the Assassins are being gifted 2 new items in patch 0.18. These will allow them to both rack up more kills and fights, as well as help mitigate some healing. Penumbra gives 40 physical power, 200 health, 6 physical penetration, and 20 ability haste all for 3000 gold. Penumbra's passive, Essence Reaver, will lower your non-ultimate cooldowns by a few seconds every time you get a kill, allowing anyone using it to be more powerful in teamfights by keeping their abilities up more often. Tainted Trident is a much-needed tainted item for the Assassins, costing 2900 gold, and it gives 40 physical power, 8 physical penetration, and 10 ability haste. This tainted item for Assassins makes their damage basics apply a heal reduction to enemies. In addition, its second passive, Wound Seeker, allows your abilities to do more damage to blighted targets, which scales based on your physical penetration. Due to the removal of Phoenix, a new crest is in store for fighters, as well as several new items that should help shake up some builds this patch. The new crest is called Judgment, and it seems to function very similarly to the mage crest Tempest. When you activate Thunder Cleaver, you'll deal damage to all nearby enemies and when you hit enemies, you'll heal for a portion of your physical power and missing health. After the first initial heal though, you'll only receive 50% of the healing benefits. Earthshaker is the first new item for fighters and it costs 3000 gold. It provides 30 physical power, 30% attack speed, and 300 health. Earthshaker's passive is Battleborn, which increases ability damage during sustained fights, stacking up to 15 times. Melee heroes benefit a little more by gaining stacks twice as fast as ranged heroes. Gaia Greaves are the fighter's version of Galaxy Greaves, granting 350 health, 30 physical armor, 15 ability haste, and 20% tenacity for only 2900 gold. These Greaves have two passives, Tremor and Unburden. Unburden increases your jump height by 75%, giving you some unique traversal tools. While Tremor grants stacks while you move around the map, granting bonus movement speed per stack, and when you basic attack, you'll remove all current stacks dealing bonus physical damage. You can also lose those stacks by being slowed or immobilized by an enemy. Mist Meadow Buckler costs 3000 gold, giving 40 physical power, 30 magical armor, and 5% Omnivamp. Mist Meadow also benefits from two unique passives. 
Mistwood Guard is the first one, which generates five charges per second. And once you reach 100 charges, you gain 15 bonus magical armor. However, the second passive, Barkskin, can remove those stacks when you take magical damage. Each stack blocks one damage, and Barkskin can block up to 50% of incoming damage while stacks permit. Now, mages are getting two very spicy items that provide lots of extra damage and scaling to their kits. Noxia is 3,050 gold, granting 85 magical power and 20 ability haste. Noxia's passives act as a one-two punch of sorts, with the first passive, Evil Eye, marking enemies that are hit by an ability for a few seconds. And when you hit with a different ability, it activates the second passive, Dark Matter. Dark Matter deals 5% of target's max health as bonus magical damage, with a slight cooldown between activations. This is a great item for heroes that have a follow-up combo built into their kit, as it'll help them poke or finish off low health enemies. Soulbinder is 3,000 gold for 75 magical power, 400 mana, and 15 ability haste. Soulbinder looks great and was very clearly designed for artillery mages. Soulbinder's passive, Arcane Salvo, deals additional damage to enemies over 1,500 units away, and it grants one magical power permanently for every time you trigger it. This would be a great first pickup since you'll be able to scale well into the late game and build those stacks throughout the game. Supports received the most new items this patch, and they're all going to really spice up the support builds. Cresselia costs 2700 gold and grants 45 magical power, 100% base mana regen, and 15 ability haste. Its passive Moonblade empowers your next basic attack after casting an ability. That basic deals additional damage and refunds 15% of your non-ultimate cooldowns as well. Dawnstar gives 250 health, 75% base health regen, 20 physical armor, and 10 ability haste, all for 2600 gold. Debilitating Strikes reduces enemy hero's damage by 2% for a few seconds, stacking up to 5 times, with melee hero stacking twice as fast. In addition, its second passive, Crusader, says that when you immobilize an enemy hero, you'll gain 20% attack speed for a few seconds as well. Everbloom is 2650 gold for 45 magical power, 200 health, and 8% increased healing and shield power. Its passive, Divine Protection, is extremely strong. Any heals and shields you provide to yourself or allies gives you both 5% damage mitigation and 15% increased tenacity for a few seconds. Lunaria is 2650 gold as well, and it gives 55 magical power, 10 ability haste, and 8% heal and shield power. Lunaria is a great support item for those that are already missing Wellspring. Its passive, Incandescence, grants you charges equal to 30% of any damage dealt to enemy heroes. Upon healing or shielding an ally, its second passive, Mending, spends those stacks and grants an equivalent heal to your ally. And our last of the new items goes to the tanks. Tanks only received a single new item, but it'll help them cast abilities more often, as well as do a quite a bit more damage. Fist of Razul is a 3100 gold item that grants 450 health, 25 physical armor, and 10 ability haste. Its passive, Razul's Might, grants you stacks upon taking damage. Once you reach 5 stacks, it'll empower your next basic attack to deal additional magic damage and will heal you for half of the damage dealt. In addition, you'll gain a second passive called Minion Crusher, which makes you deal 30% additional damage to minions. Now let's talk about the significant item changes that have happened to previously existing items, starting with the crests and then we'll go by archetype as well. Crests have all been normalized by type, so now you'll be picking a crest based on the active that you want, where previously some crests had better stats than others. For the carry items, 7 carry items have received significant updates in patch 0.18, with new stats being added as well as passives gained and removed. Ashbringer removed attack speed, added ability haste, and simplified the passive. Kingsbane received a full rework, removing the on-hit heal and instead replacing it with an on-hit damaging passive. Lightninghawk received a change to its passive. Instead of applying on every fourth hit, it now builds stacks and applies once they reach 100. Resolution has been reworked to touch by removing the mana restoration on hit and stealing Mind Razor's mana stacking passive. Sky Splitter receives 8% lifesteal as a stat, but removes the fourth hit damage from the item, choosing to instead buff the on hit from every basic attack. Stormbreaker gains its stack based passive instead of on every fourth hit, but retains its ability to increase that damage throughout the game. Terminus gains a new passive called Gift that grants additional lifesteal the lower health you are. Now, Assassins have been a mixed bag in Predecessors since launch, but with these item updates, the Ometa team is showing some love while nerfing some Assassin favorites. Envy has its ability haste removed, as well as its bonus damage passive. In return, it gains a new passive called Hush that silences targets that are hit by a critical strike. Infernum receives a buff that increases its passive damage by 1% for each point of bonus armor the enemy has. 
Mind Razor no longer stacks mana like before, and instead will just be a wave clear focused item entirely. Nightfall's health passive has been removed and replaced by Dusk Reaver, which grants a shield for a few seconds after each takedown. And Omen receives a huge nerf by changing its cooldown refund to be a percentage based cooldown refund instead of a flat amount. Fighters have had their core three items tweaked this time around, with all of them receiving a significant passive change. Augmentation has had its movement speed passive removed, and the Empowered Basics from True Strike now deal true damage. Draconum's Surge passive no longer grants additional physical power, but the health it restores on takedown has been increased. And finally, Mutilator's passive no longer steals max health from the enemies, instead just dealing 3% of the target's max health as damage. For the mages, their items received the most changes this patch, with all manner of things being added, removed, or replaced. Astral Catalyst has a new anti-shield passive called Event Horizon. You'll now deal 30% bonus damage to shielded targets, but the damage is only amplified against the shield directly. Azure Core has a new passive that grants you 25% max mana shield when you fall below 40% health. Caustica has had its Arcane Resolve passive removed in favor of a new passive called Arcane Might. While enemy heroes are above 50% max health, your damage against them is increased for each point of magical armor they have. Lifebinder has had its health stat removed and replaced by 300 mana. Its Vital Bond passive was also changed to Twilight Sonata, which gives you magical power and lifesteal for every 10% of your health that is missing. Magnify has received a full rework, and will now be an item that stacks. At 100 stacks, you'll empower your next basic attack, which deals bonus damage and shreds the enemy's magical armor for a few seconds. Oblivion Crown's passive that does current health damage has been removed, so the item will now only increase your magical power by 18%. Orb of Enlightenment no longer provides Ability Haste and Mana as part of the passive, but will instead grant additional magic power and health instead. Prophecy doesn't get any bonus attack speed from its passive anymore, instead it will just deal the additional magic damage on hit. Spirit of Amir's magical lifesteal and movement speed are gone, but it receives magical penetration in its place. It also loses the mana regen passive in favor of a new one that deals more damage to monsters. Wraith Leggings no longer receives additional movement speed from the passive, and it instead gets it as a base stat. Now for supports, they are losing a lot of stats, but they are gaining a bunch of unique passives in return, starting with Dynamo. Dynamo no longer has its mana stat, but instead received an entirely new passive called Adaptive Aggression, which grants you physical power or magical power based on whichever you have more of. Vanguardian has its health stat removed in favor of more armor. You also no longer gain the Vanguard bonus armors when entering combat. Hexbound Bracers don't have mana anymore, but instead received increased base health regen. In addition, the Meditation passive has been removed with a new Hexed Guard passive, which lets you take less damage from enemy hero basic attacks. True Silver Bracelet no longer has magical armor or ability haste, instead you're gaining some base mana regen. Windcaller has its health and ability haste removed, but gains base mana regen and movement speed instead. You also no longer get the Renewing Shriek's mana passive. Tank items received some interesting changes in patch 0.18 that give them more options of survivability and damage. Elifrost no longer restores mana in its passive, but receives some base mana regen as a core stat. Fire Blossom doesn't provide mana anymore either, and loses the bonus damage against monsters and immobilized targets. Instead, we have a new Firestorm passive that increases Heatwave's damage by a percentage every time you hit the same target with it, with the additional damage falling off after a few seconds. Frostguard received a lot of changes with its health, mana, and ability haste removed, and being replaced by magical armor and base health regen. Raymond of Renewal got a full rework that gives you a passive heal out of combat, and it will also increase your base health regen by 5% for each level. And finally, Stonewall no longer has its stun passive, and it did lose its base health regen. So there's all you need to know about the new items and changes in patch 0.18. Let me know in the comments which new item is your favorite, and keep an eye out for all my other content on the new patch. Until then, I'll see you next time.